outside an impressive side at the United States Air Force Academy. That is Clint Arena as we get set for what the Air Force Falcons hope is a show inside tonight. It is the Mountain West Missouri Valley Conference challenge here as the Falcons look to get back of the wind column tonight against the Bears of Missouri State. Welcome in everybody, Josh Allen alongside Keith Barnett and Keith, the Falcons certainly cannot wait to get on the hardwood tonight. It's been a last uh, tough couple outings the last two times out, but tonight a chance to get back into the wind column and against a very good Missouri State team out of the Valley Conference. Yeah, Missouri State team that we've had success against two years ago, and so hopefully we have similar success, shoot a high percentage, and we'd be in good shape. Well, speaking of percentages, let's take a look at the numbers, and both these teams uh, on paper pretty close coming in. Yeah, you know, the assist to turnover ratio is one that sticks out to me, and I'm hoping that we can keep a handle on that and let them shoot the three, and hopefully we score more than they do. Now, this Missouri State team comes in averaging 74 points a contest. The Falcons coming in 67, so on the minus end, that is Air Force. So the question for Air Force, what is the starting lineup going to look like tonight? They've had four different starting lineups. It's been by committee. And the question for Dave Pilipovich in game number seven, who the five are to start tonight against the Bears. Yeah, and the Bears starting their same lineup for the last six matchups. And they've got the same five guys, lots of experience there, some transfers. Should be an interesting one. Yeah, this is a Missouri State team that returns two se seniors from a season ago. One of those leading scorer in Jared Dixon. Going to be fun to watch it play out tonight. It's the Falcons and the Bears will have the starting lineup send the tip off when we come back. And welcome back to Clint Arena here at the United States Air Force Academy. It's Air Force playing O's to the Bears of Missouri State in the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. And Keith Barnett, as we take a look at the starting lineups, Air Force uh, going with a familiar five. Very familiar. And uh, here we go again. Yeah, this is, this is going to be good. We've got some size out there and a whole lot of youth. So the Falcons going with Sid Tomes. A.J. Walker, Keaton Van Solen, Chris Joyce, and Amika Akaya. And from her series state, they're going to go with Josh Webster, the transfer out of Texas Tech. Obadiah Church, he is a shot-blocking machine. Jared Dixon, the leading scorer, 17 points a game. Kreklo makes his first start of the season. He's come off the bench in the first six games. And then Silva gets the start tonight. Toledo to Silva. In the starting five for head coach Dana Ford in his first season. And for Dave Podopovich, season number seven here is the head man at the academy. And good hustle play on the part of Sid Tomes, a junior out of Woodbury, Minnesota. Yeah, De Silva with his first start here after getting cleared by the NCAA and uh, saw some action in the last game before this one. So Missouri State now, nine on the shot clock. Kreklow three ball, short iron. Tomes trying to chase down the rebound. It's going to be Air Force basketball. Nice pursuit there on the miss by Kreklow. Almost came up with a long offensive rebound. Now this is a Missouri State team, three and three coming in. They've lost three straight. Keith, they've played some tough teams coming in. Southern Cal, 24th ranked, then 24th ranked Nebraska. So this is a team that is tested. Going to be a stiff, stiff test tonight for the Air Force Falcons. They give one away. Jared Dixon. Comes up with a turnover here for the Bears. One dribble, drive, kick out, three ball up and long iron. And it's one and done of the possession for Missouri State. Oh, nice. S step through with the left hand. That is the freshman, A.J. Walker. Beautiful Euro step right there in the left-handed finish. Could it not think Air Force with the early lead. They'll dump it inside, little head fake going to the other side of the rim. Off the window for two, it's Obadiah Church. Yeah, high percentage shot that with a nice head fake. Showed the ball really well in order to get us in the air. 2-2 two -two game here. These two teams played last 2016, December 3rd to be exact. Air Force came up a winner. Falcons shot the lights out 56% from the field. They would love to duplicate that tonight, especially given the tough start. Last week against Colorado and a jam inside by Tulio De Silva. Yeah, really good penetration there into the lane and then a dump down right into the right into his waiting hands on his way up. De Silva goes 6-8. This is a team with a lot of size and length and 
It'll be interesting to see how the Falcons match up here tonight. Yeah, they're, uh, they're switching a lot of the screens just coming across and they're playing their individual spots here. They've got enough size and length and athleticism that they feel comfortable with this. Sid Tomes off the left side of Joyce. Catch it, shoot it, score it. How about a triple for A.J. Walker, the hot hand here to start this game. That's great. If you can get them to come out and not be able to switch everything off, of, off the dribble, that'd be nice. And A.J. Walker, all five of the Falcons' points here tonight. Wow. <laughs> and an answer for three. There's your starting center right there, shooting a three. The modern NBA coming down to the college ranks here, switching everything on the screens, and then their five spot shooting a three. To Leo De Silver, a 6'8 junior. Off the bounce, here's Joyce. Drive and dish. Ten to there shoot here go. for the Falcons. Open look from the corner, and he got it. Uh, Chris Joyce found the soft spot, the sophomore to Jacksonville. Gives Air Force the 8-7 lead. Great patience right there. I mean, a two, two contested looks for a wide open one instead with more passing. Air Force 75% for the field to start this game. And speaking of hot, how about Missouri State? Krecklow answer, and this is a guy that can heat it up in a hurry. He hit six triples against Southern Cal just a couple of games ago. Had 23 points in that loss to the Trojans. Yeah, he worked himself into the starting lineup, obviously, with that stat line and some good production against Murray State. Joyce up top, played here by Webster. Eight to shoot here for the Falcons. Joyce looking inside, turning. A little fall away with the left hand. Slides it over the rim. That's Amika Akaya. That's good if you can get Church to come away from the basket there and not just hang around underneath. Akaya hits his first shot attempt here tonight. Dixon an answer, side iron. Akaya rips it down, Air Force moving and Missouri State able to get back on defense. This is a Bears team that gives up 73 a game. They're about plus one against their opponents this season. And speaking of plus, how about another three? A.J. Walker. That is a great sign right now with us getting wide open looks and especially hitting it from three. A.J. Walker, two of two from downtown, three of three for the field. And an answer the other way, that's Josh Webster. Yeah, kind of slithered his way in there and just, you know, put his body inside the defender and got a free free look at the basket. A oh, great ball fake there by Van Solen. Nice rotation. rotation. Top side, three ball, long iron. And great effort by Tomes, jump it up, no. Van Solen still battling. It's going to be Missouri State basketball with that. A timeout on the floor, 15-10 to go. Good game here at Clute Arena. The Falcons leading by one. Back here at Clute Arena, Air Force with the 13-12 lead over Missouri State. Josh Howell, Keith Barnett, and Keith A.J. Walker, second career start, making the most of it here tonight. Yeah, great stat line so far. And, you know, more impressively, just good solid defense as well and, and feeding other guys. This is some good shots right there, wide open. Got to make the wide open looks. A.J. Walker averaging 6.7 points a game coming in. He's eight already, three of three from the field. A rebound as well. And he is coming off a 13 point performance against the University of Colorado in his first career start. So Air Force off and running here as a team shooting 63%. Missouri State that exact same number, both five of eight from the field. You like the rhythm. Out of Dave Pelopovich's team here in the first four and a half minutes of play. Yeah, the rhythm of the game has been great so far. Up and down, no fouls. Very little, you know, very little turnovers. This is fun. Now, this is a game that the Falcons can start to gain a little traction as they head down the stretch in non-conference play. Quality team out of the Missouri Valley Conference. Dana Ford in his first season, a Coach very familiar with the Missouri Valley Conference, a former player at Illinois State, a coach at Wichita State, former team of the Valley, and he is one of the youngest coaches in all the NCAA. Yeah, fifth youngest. Fifth youngest in all the NCAA and a rising star. So this is his first season here, and so far it's uh, been productive with a 3-0 start at home. Just 34 years old. 
So Air Force out of the timeout as Lavelle Scotty checking in for the first time tonight. Off to A.J. Walker. A.J. Walker normally wears 10. Tonight you notice the jersey change. He's got two in tonight's home jerseys for the Falcons. Joyce off the ball fake. A little back and forth up top. That Scotty in the corner. Check that Walker in the corner. Kick the call and going to reset the clock. Yeah, trying to get the ball into the inside force there and Swan, who's back after not playing the last game. A huge piece to get back on the lineup, the leading scorer and the rebounder for the Falcons. Yeah, Ryan just set Swan. a solid screen right there. Free ball, got it. The Falcons red hot. That's Sid Tomes at Air Force now. They're four of six from downtown. Yeah, that's a, that's a screen you're not getting around. You got to switch that. Cook hangs short. A great effort on the part of A.J. Walker, and Air Force comes out of there with the loose ball. Yeah, Chris Joyce get, gets his leg out of the way right there, avoiding the turnover or the, the easy rebound right there for the for Missouri. There's Sid Tomes leading assist man for the Falcons this season. 14 assists coming into this contest. Scotty says, why not? Short iron on the three. Long rebound chased down by Keandre Cook to the hole. Inside out, that's good ball rotation, but better defense by Ryan Swan. Yeah, De Silva drew him out right there after making that first three, so now we gotta kinda jump out on him, and he took it right to the hole afterwards. Smart basketball right there. This Air Force team, two and four coming in. 63rd season of Falcon basketball. As Chris Joyce checks out of the contest with 13.54 to go in the opening half, as does Sid Tomes. So Caleb Morris in for the first time tonight. Scotty on the floor along with Swan. And down low, you got Purvis Louder working in the post for the Falcons. Turn around, 10 to shoot, got it. Wow. Slides over the rim, Ryan Krecklow. Much tougher shot than the one that he turned down after creating space in the lane. And punch, counter punch, Bears within two. Bounce into the corner now. Uh oh Swan cut off, good defense, extra pass, nobody home. Thought he was going inside, and Scotty popped outside. Turnover for the Falcons. That's their second tonight. Yeah, there's a little miscommunication right there in terms of where they were floating to in between the defenders. Keandre Cook, the junior out of Baltimore by way of Odessa College. Out of the front court, turnover here for Missouri State. Out and running two on one here. Morris, the bounce pass up and under with the right hand, tip in, yes. Scotty, that's a nice follow right there. Now persistence paying off as Air Force extra effort here. Yeah, getting out, running the floor, rewarding your guy on the other side, and then he goes up and under, but that getting four guys down before Missouri State gets two is nice. Tip in with the right hand. Yeah, injury. Lavelle Scotty, the junior out of Fort Worth, and Muhammad rolled an ankle, I think, on that putback. There's a whistle, ready to go here. 13 minutes remaining in this opening half. Obadiah Church, and the two returning senior starters here from Missouri State, the miss from the corner. And quickly, Walker, here to the front court for Air Force. with the left hand and away from the ball. Now we're gonna get a hand check out on top. That's Jared Dixon, number one, on the senior out of Kansas City, and the first for Missouri State. Check that two for Missouri State. This is Scotty. Ooh, right in the and middle of blocking chest. the call. It's still moving his feet, so that's a good that's a good call right there. Jared Dixon, the blocking foul. You know, watching Walker play and the quickness and the bounce that he's providing with the ball handling. This is a that's a nice fill-in after losing a couple seniors last year. This Missouri State team returned four seniors to and the starting line for the Falcons, as we mentioned, Purvis Lauda, the only man in terms of senior leadership on this team, but certainly a lot of valuable playing experience. Yeah. Speaking of experience, A.J. Walker getting a lot in a hurry. 
second straight start, and he is making some noise here tonight. How about 11 points less than eight minutes in? That's a great start right there. That's what you want to see from your freshman. Swan picking the pocket out front and now running the floor. One on two. Woo. And Air Force able to keep it in play off the ball fake. There we go. That was the Morris. original pass Swan wanted. <laughs> Red hot from downtown. The Falcons now. Six of nine from long range and a timeout on the floor. Air Force rolling here. The lead pushed to 10. The Falcons leading here. And the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge back as we take a look at some of the highlights here. The yeah. three ball, well, problem last time out against CU, not the case tonight. No, I mean, that screen and then this, another wide open three. The rotation's just a little bit late and a little bit slow right now for Missouri State. Four different players have hit six threes for the Falcons. A.J. Walker leading the way for Air Force, three of three for 11 points, and it has been by committee for Air Force. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more from the first half here, Air Force up 24 to 14. Can I borrow one of your pens? Falcons up by 10, 24 to 14 over Missouri State here, and the third meeting between these two schools. These series tied at one game apiece. Air Force won the last time out, December 3rd, 2016, 83-70, and they shot a great percentage in that contest, 56% tonight, doing the same. at 64% and 67 from long range as the Falcons out of the timeout on the defensive end here, just inside 12 to go. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett is Keandre Cook handles it here for the Bears. Nine to shoot. Good rotation getting back to Church. He wasn't a threat from the three. Double nearly yes. turns it over. He does. <laughs> quick hands by Dave Pilipovich. Very quick hands. And uh, he was ready to go the other way with it. Here it is right here. I mean, this is right there. And Dave picking it up, ready to go. Well, Air Force playing with its largest lead of the night. Tomes off to the left side. Purvis Lau, the lone senior on this team on the floor here for the Falcons. Inside 11 and a half to play. Swan squares up baseline and hits. Again, great patience, six, seven passes, and then we get a you know 16-foot shot. Ryan Swan, a junior out of Overland High School in Aurora. Largest lead of the night here for the Falcons at a dozen. Kreklo, right side of Keandre Cook off the screen from Church. He'll go baseline off the hesitation. Webster open look, but couldn't handle the pass cleanly. Seven to shoot now. Morris guarding Webster. Hesitation, drop it off, two to shoot, and a whistle, and boy, outstanding defense, and then the foul committed. Yeah, I think just waiting on that pass, Purvis Lauder comes across, and I think he gets him with the body, but otherwise, a good anticipation. Preklo, his team, their largest deficit of the night. Lob pass inside, and turning. Using the windows to low De Silva. Yeah, good length right there, getting all the way around Scotty. Really good footwork. Well, De Silva has been big tonight here for Missouri State, seven points as the Falcons try to answer back. Scotty coming right back at him, takes him to the hole, gets the foul. Julio Da Silva picks up his first personal number four on Missouri State. And here comes Lavelle Scotty, 50% free throw shooter. Pure on the first attempt of the night for either team. Yeah, that, that had very little of anything going through. And a well-played game to this point. Yeah, both sides rather clean. Not a whole lot the referees have had to do. And gets the shooter's touch. Yeah. He uses all of it, and it goes in. you would like to see that on the, on the home rim. Keaton Van Solen on the floor now for the Falcons with 10-18 to go in the first half. And Air Force with that 12-point lead. 
Time for their largest lead of the night. Off the ball fake, good discipline by Van Solen. Kreklo yeah. now off the screen and fighting through it. Falcons are going to commit a foul. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of, from the looks of it from the beginning, all the penetration was one-on-one -on -one with nobody helping, and now every time they get in the lane, there's at least two Falcons that are waiting for them. So there's a, a, a lot more help in the middle. Ryan Kreklo, senior out of Columbia, 100th career game, inbounds it for Missouri State. Yeah, Ryan comes from a pretty athletic family. His, uh, his sister was in the USA gym for women's volleyball. And that's oh. going the other way. Offensive the call. Got to put your body on the line here. Amika Akaya right here steps in, takes it right in the chest. I mean, two knees in the chest, and he's fired up. That's a great play. Well, they turn it over. Five team fouls now on Missouri State, but back to Ryan Kreklo, an athletic family. Yeah, athletic family. So uh, his sister played in the USA gym for the women's volleyball, and then his uh, father and mother are 21 years head co-head coaches I guess at Missouri uh, for women's volleyball so it's uh, pretty impressive pretty impressive family and Ryan it's amazing when you think about a hundred career games staying healthy to be able to contribute to Missouri State down the other way and free throws coming for Toledo De Silva yeah, great play on the ball there by Morris and just couldn't quite get it in putting De Silva on the line is a good move De Silva out of Brazil by way of South Florida transfer. Some transfers on this roster for head coach Dana Ford. Of course, Josh Webster transferring in from Texas Tech. Yeah. Andre Cook, Odessa College. 11 new faces on, the, on this roster here, and uh, a couple of them in ineligible until next year, and one of them until next, uh, next semester. It's a Missouri State program that has seen a lot of success in their history, but not in their recent history. Last tournament trip for the NCAA's 1999 when Steve Alford was the head man. That's when they were Southwest Missouri State. Catch it, shoot it, score it. In rhythm. Wow. A.J. Walker feeling it here tonight. He's got 14. I mean, they're leaving him wide open. I, I, why wouldn't you shoot that? Hasn't missed a shot all night. Five of five from the field for those five field goals from long range. Muhammad, good luck, no. Here's Joyce. Muhammad no. still noticeably limping from that uh, ankle sprain earlier. Yeah, Kabir Muhammad, a junior out of Lagos, Nigeria. Good Joyce. patience right there by Joyce. Ed Von Solon off to the left side and Akaya has it taken away. Yeah, that's that's Church on the inside. I'm not sure that that's the matchup you want going head-to-head -head on. Webster hangs. No on the roll, loose ball, and Air Force able to run out of there. Sid Tomes. The Bears have been getting back on defense. Van Solen in deep. Little head fake, cut off. Three ball up and good. Air Force red hot from long range. This time, Amika Akaya and the Falcons, 7 of 10 from downtown and a timeout on the floor. With that, we will step aside. Air Force rolling here at the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. Air Force Falcons enjoying their largest lead of the opening half, up by 17, 7.56 to go. And it's been the three ball that's helped lead the way and some great play by A.J. Walker. But boy, how about the long range Precision by the Falcons here tonight. Yeah, you know, most of these threes are, you're going to see here are wide open and good looks. I and mean, right here, the, the rotation's late. They're playing for the next rotation, and we're willing to shoot the first one. Like, that's, that's awesome. Five different players have hit from downtown Air Force as a team. Eight of 11, 72%. Keep in mind, against Colorado, they were one of 13. Uh, yeah, you know what? All that practice shooting the three is paying off right now. You know, hopefully we don't live and die by the three because eight of 11 is great. Let's hope we're not eight of 22 in the second half. Well, this is a Falcon team that came in at shooting 28% from long range and averaged just under six makes a game. So certainly 
They have flipped the switch in a big way tonight against the Bears of Missouri State. Up top to De Silva. Defending here is Van Solen. Yeah, can't get too comfortable either because Missouri State also shoots a lot of threes. Two years ago, they shot 34 of them against us. Crackwell hesitates trying to split the defense, and that's going to be offensive. Second time we've seen that call tonight on Missouri State. Crackwell wanted an explanation about this. Uh, I wonder if it's just jumping into the body. Right? Yeah, the elbow, getting that right elbow stuck out right in the middle of his chest. So here's the freshman, A.J. Walker. That almost looked like a design play right there coming out of the timeout about trying to pick their pocket in the back door here. Good extra passes by the Falcons. Walker again. Oh. Red hot has not missed a shot tonight. He six to six, five of five from downtown. A.J. Walker now, 17 points to lead the way. That's a good move right there to come back, try and get him in foul trouble take it right down and get something that's easy and get some free points. But look at this, the wide open again, late rotation, full confidence. A.J. Walker feeling good. And the freshman knew it when he let it go. He did. Down to the other end, Josh Webster, 83% free throw shooter. Good on the front end. You know, he's a 19-year-old freshman having spent some time at the prep school too, so that does make a difference in some of that maturity. Uh, he is contributing in a big way in his second career start for the Falcons, A.J. Walker. Webster got them both. With an 18, largest lead of the night has been 20 here for the Falcons. A.J. Walker now. And then Solon on the floor, back to Walker, another three. Again. How about six for six from long range? Two guys ended up with Tomes somehow, and A.J. Walker's just going to pull the trigger again. Why not? 20 points for the freshman. Still perfect tonight. Approaching the six-and-a-half-minute mark here as Muhammad drives, leaves it short. And good effort sticking with the offensive board, and now a whistle. It's good pursuit right there by Muhammad. Missed the first one, left it short, but then scrambled enough to get it back and get some free throws. Look at that, wide open, good rotation. I mean, everybody turns and looks at the coach and is pointing their, you know, pointing their finger. And meanwhile, Walker feels great, backs up down the you know, backs up down the court. So Muhammad, one more coming as substitutions for the Falcons is Swan and Lavelle Scotty checking back into the contest. Akaya to the bench here for Air Force along with Van Solen. Six twenty-nine to go is Missouri State within 19. Now the Falcons have been outstanding, 70% from the field here in the opening half. Nice skip pass right there. Another wide open look. Leaving it short. And Missouri State's Kabir Mohammed. Out of the front court underneath, we've got a blocking call. No shot. Yeah, uh, Tom just got there a little bit too late getting underneath Church here. It's a good long pass. Swan was late getting back on D after fighting hard for the rebound. So Missouri State getting checked to set to check in some size. Josh Webster and number 30, that's a 6'8 junior, De Silva. Talio De Silva. Yeah. He's doing a good job rotating his guys pretty quickly. I think the, he's uh, concerned about the altitude in the first half. This Missouri State team has played six games. Lost three state, or three straight rather. And when you take a look at the uh, Bears coming in, we talked about their schedule. Tough stretch the last three. They played out Missouri State, or I'm sorry, Murray State. Southern Cal and then 24th ranked Nebraska. Yeah, both on a neutral court there. Uh, and those were those are tough matchups when you go against Power 5 teams. They, they've they got some pretty good size and I, I think they unconsciously shot a few more threes than they were used to the whole rest of the season. Obadiah Church, successful trip to the charity strike. Yeah, they're, uh, 
They're keeping this a little bit closer here. By three straight fouls and six straight baskets from the uh, free throw line. There's Lavelle Scotty. Swan, pick. Choice now. Nice, there it is, good rotation. Walker hangs, kick out, seven to shoot. Joyce with the left hand, no. And Obadiah Church, the rip on the defensive end, quickly down the other way to Silva, can't hold on. That's a good turnover. You know, I, I, I like I like Joyce taking that in there, but Church definitely changed his shot and made him go further off the glass with his left hand than he was comfortable with. Falcons, comfortable lead here, up by 17. Yeah, pace of the game has changed a little bit here with those three fouls and then the uh, the defense here by Missouri. They're driving dish off the skip Ooh. pass, Ryan Swan. And this Air Force team continues to light it up from long range. 11 of 15 now for the Falcons, and they lead by 20. Nice rotation right there by Swan. Help defense, gets back to his guy. Kreklo an answer, but they're gonna need a lot of that to climb back here in the opening half. Air Force team, no doubt their best shooting night of the season. It continues. Lavelle Scotty, Scotty now with the half dozen. Yeah, Lavelle Scotty just finds a nice little niche right there and pulls up for about a 14 footer. Seven different Air Force players have scored tonight. A.J. Walker leading the way with 20. Inside of five minutes to go. Little hesitation, Keandre Cook trying to split the defense and it's gonna be a foul on the Falcons. You know, I like the idea of getting in there and, and trying to help defense. I'm not sure based on where he was that he was gonna get a good shot with his left hand going away that way. I think he needed the contact to get bailed out from a, a bad spot. Tones back in as Chris Choice to the bench. 4.35 to go and Keandre Cook, 75% free throw shooter at the line for the first time tonight. First of a one and one, that's, they're, they're doing well from the line here. This is how you get yourself back in when you're down 20 points. Slow it down, shoot free throws. Well, Keandre Cook has been a streaky player. He had a stretch of four straight earlier this season Scored 20 or more points. That was earlier this month. So he's a guy who can get hot in a hurry. Cook, two points here as Missouri State trails at 45 to 27. And again, doing what they can. I mean, this is veteran coaching right there from a from a young head coach, changing changing the rhythm of the game. Air Force tries to force one inside, and they're going to turn it over. Keandre Cook. Right side of Webster. Now Cook backing off as A.J. Walker. The defense here for the Falcons. Cook driving dish, wide open look for three. And it's gonna be blocking the call. Yeah, another trip down, the down here, another trip to the line. Back in comes Keaton Van Solen. That was an interesting uh, offensive set a second ago, too, where Church came up and then slipped the screen, never actually set it. And uh, I think the anticipation of the screen kind of got, got them the space they needed. So to the free throw line for the second time goes Keandre Cook. Stays perfect. He's 3-3. Three three. Now Dave Pilipovich has got to be pleased with this start here tonight for the Falcons. They have... Been absolutely sharp, 67% from the field, 73 from three-point range. Yeah, the uh, assist to turnover ratio right now looks really good on the Falcons' side. Got to keep that going as the pressure increases. Oh, here we go. There it is again where two guys go run to one, so now there's space. Little stop and flip the ball up, but then Purvis Loud of the senior out of Raleigh. Air Force pushing the lead back to 17 as Kreklo straight away. Van Solen fights through. How, you know, how well can we finish this first half is the question. How big can we keep the lead? There we go, there we go. Wrap around out of bounds. Right idea by De Silva, just 
errant pass that slipped through four guys and goes all the way back out. Time out of the four. The Falcons cruising here in the opening half. Air Force up 47 and 30. Little jump stop. Purvis Louder. Another two to a big opening half here for the Falcons. That's been a lockdown defensive job of the Air Force Falcons on that man. Jared Dixon, the leading scorer coming in here tonight for Missouri State. He's been held scoreless with 3.26 to go in the opening half. Seems like good game planning to the start right here by Coach Filipovich and his staff. Ryan Swan and company going to work here. They have played with a big cushion for most of this opening half. Swan from the elbow looking for the ball and Air Force opts to go up top, little rotation around the perimeter, six to shoot. Four to shoot, they'll launch up the three, just catches iron. That attempt by Purvis Louder, put back no, and the rep here by Missouri State. I think Van Solen thought about that one with Church right there in his grill. Kind of left it a little bit short, worried about making sure he gets it over number five. Air Force slight advantage on the boards, 10, nine. Nice Mark for Air passing. Force, and, I, and he is, I tell you, Keith, he has come in and De Silva has certainly been an impact player tonight. Leads away with 10 for Missouri State. I mean, you can see why he's in the starting lineup after you know just getting clear and seeing some action last game, and now here he is, leading scorer. Just over two minutes to play here in the opening half. Louder, little jump stop, throws it out, three ball, in and out. Van Solen. Great offensive tip out right there. Another extra possession, hustle play. Shows up on the stats, but shows up even bigger right there on the video board. Sophomore from Waukee, Iowa, did not quit on that play. And he's rewarded, leaves it short. On the move, Missouri State off the bounce. Pure jumper from Keandre Cook. Keandre Cook getting started, hopefully not for long. This right here, high low, working his way in, right off the glass, just outsizes him. And then here it is again, coming back down. Wide, wide open look, good screen, smooth jumper. Credit the Bears, they're not folding. They were down by 20. They're trailing by 13. 142 to go. In fact, their largest deficit, 21. Falcons built that lead up in a hurry. Yeah, they're. Missouri State's doing a good job closing this quarter, changing things up. Full court press, getting to the free throw line. Now they're making a couple buckets on the other end, giving themselves some confidence to get back in this match. They're going to the length of the floor on this possession. Again, full court press, just trying to slow it down, change the rhythm, shorten the shot clock. A.J. Walker to Lavelle. Purvis Louder on a crossover. Walker off that jab step, five to shoot. Missouri State's doing a better job Spins staying at home. Spins blocked with one of the shot clock and a great defensive stand by Missouri State. You can see the energy on their bench picking up right now as they encourage their guys. And obviously, you know, the defensive effort is picked up too because there are no more wide open threes. The rotation's on time, switches are good. Four turnovers for Air Force. Now they've kept it clean here in the opening half as we approach the one minute mark. Cracklow, play by Van Solen. Cook pops up top. Right by the defenders and a whistle on the play. Again, back to the line, just slowly working themselves back in here. Good quick move by Keandre Cook. Cook now his third trip to the free throw line tonight. He's perfect. Cook shot a lot of free throws more than any other Missouri State player this season. That is his MO. He's been to the line 29 times prior to tonight. And Make that 34, he's five of five. Oh, real Seven good. Point. 
sorry, real good quick first step. I mean, that's going to get him that separation he needed to get around Purvis and get to the line. How about a late eight points in 11 minutes for Keandre Cook? And Missouri State continues to chip away at that Air Force lead as they are within 11. Louder thought about it off the screen. Good patience. Nice. Great feet inside, and Scotty could not handle it. That was, a, that was a really good pass right there with a look ahead and knew exactly where to put it on the bounce. Hit Scotty right in the midst. You've got to hold on to that one. We'd love to have that one back. What a 2.8 second differential between the shot and the game clock. So Air Force, no doubt, will have another opportunity here before we close out this opening half. They're going to hold for one here and hope they can maybe get a quick stick back. The extra three seconds here and see what happens. This is Josh Webster, a senior guard, a transfer out of Texas Tech. Well defended here, well defended. Four to shoot. Hanging, got it, top shot. Keandre Cook, one second, they'll launch it up, three-quarter court. And that is the way this opening half will come to a close. Air Force led by as many as 21, the lead trend that I, and still though the Falcons head of the locker room with an opening first half, impressive, 57% for the field. And more importantly, they have the nine point lead. We'll take a break, come back for the halftime show after this. You're watching Air Force basketball on the Mountain West Network. We're at the half, Air Force leading Missouri State by a score of 47 to 38 here in the Mount West Missouri Valley Challenge. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett, and Keith, what an opening half for the Air Force Falcons. They struggled against the University of Colorado last time out, certainly changed that tonight. They got it going from the outside, 11 to 17 from downtown. This team's cooled off a bit, still 57%. So impressive tonight for the Falcons. Yeah, I mean, that, that shooting percentage right now, you'll take it. You know, Missouri State worked themselves back in with a, a, also a good shooting percentage. Love to see the battle here down the second half. Well, and it's been by committee as well. A.J. Walker's led the way with 20, but eight different players have scored, and, of course, 11 three-pointers, and they're getting it done, sharing the basketball as well, two-to-one differential in terms of assists versus Missouri State. Yeah, assist to turnover ratio again. We highlighted that earlier, highlighting it again. 14 and 6 for the Falcons, 7 and uh, 7 and 9 for the Missouri State. Sid Tomes now with 18 assists on the season, and he leads the Air Force Falcons in that category. So certainly a great start for Air Force tonight. 20 minutes in, they have the lead up by nine. The Falcons looking to improve and win for the third time this season. Well, this certainly has been a special night for the Air Force Falcons back at home. Of course, the Missouri Valley uh, Mountain West Conference Challenge, but also a special night for head coach Dave Pelopovich. It is Cancer Awareness Night, and as we've seen the Falcons throughout tonight, they're wearing those jerseys with the pink lettering, the pink numbers on them, yep. pink socks as well. A dollar of every ticket going to be donated by Dave Pelopovich and his wife to go to Cancer Research. Uh, tremendous, tremendous uh, efforts here in terms of the fight against cancer. Yeah, Dave lost both of, both of his parents to cancer, and so, I, you know, it's, it touches real close to home, I think, with most families in America. So it's good to see this effort from him. Well, no doubt about it. A great crowd on here and here tonight to watch Air Force and Missouri State going out of here. The Falcons with a nine-point lead. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll show you some highlights from that opening half. The Falcons with the lead here over the Bears. And back here courtside, Clune Arena, second half. Air Force leading Missouri State here in the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett, and Keith, as we take a look at some of those highlights from the opening half, it was the A.J. Walker show, the start of a big night. Big first half, he had 20. Yeah, showing us all the moves right here. You know, wide open threes, Euro step. You know, all the moves that he practiced and, and perfected at the prep school. Now, Toledo De Silva, the lone bright spot. Now, one of a couple bright spots, I guess, on the other side for Missouri State. 
Tied for the team lead with 10 points, but just a lot of this from long range. Yeah, early start, big lead, and now how do we how do we answer in the second half? Because they've changed up the tempo. AJ Walker, six of six from downtown, and this one straight away. How about this stat line? Seven of eight, six of six from the field, 20 points in 18 minutes. Yeah. Pretty good first half for AJ Walker. Pretty good night for most players, and certainly. 20 minutes to go. Air Force shooting 57%. As we mentioned, 11 of 17 from downtown. So the Falcons, an opportunity here to try to put the clamps down and close out a victory. A lot of work ahead, though. It's the second half when we return Air Force and Missouri State on the other side. Wednesday night, Clute Arena. The Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. As Air Force steps to the floor here to start the second half with a nine point lead. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett, and the five of the floor right now for the Falcons going with Joyce. And in the backcourt, A.J. Walker, the man with the hot hand, had 20 in the opening half. Sid Tomes and Solon. And of course, that man off the ball, fake drive to the hole with the left hand. A chance for the three point play, Amika Akaya. Great left-handed finish, unselfish play, right, you know, nice left hand, just finishing it, rolling it off the glass. I mean, right around Church. Gets a little bit of contact, and now a chance to finish it up. And Akaya. That's a great start to the second half. Dave Kulifovich couldn't have drawn up a better start. Lead back to double digits, it's 12. It's been as many as 21 here tonight. Missouri State team riding a three-game losing streak coming in. The Falcons trying to get back out of the wind column after dropping two straight. Church zip pass down low to Silva. And a foul whistled on Van Solen. It's a good flip of the script right there by Filipovich and coming out in full court pressing Missouri State straight back. Missouri State, we talked about Air Force's shooting. They were 58%. Yeah. There's not as many attempts. And eight less three-pointers made. Webster turning. De Silva strong inside with the right hand. To Leo De Silva, he is a load inside. Yeah, quick off the ground, too. That's long, quick off the ground, just like that. <laughs> long and quick off the ground. And hustles for the loose ball off the block. Church running down the lane. And a quick hand there by Walker to tip it away. Cook able to handle it. Keandre, touch pass to Silva. And wave it off, blocking the call. Let's clear the game plan is feed number 30 if you're Missouri State. I mean, again, there's that big to big combination. Church giving it up to De Silva. Church is not looking for his shot in this game. He's only one for one. And what I recall, it was a rather pedestrian shot. Kreklo going to work up on top with Webster. Josh Webster, a 6'3 guard out of St. Louis. Transferred in from Texas Tech, driving dish. And the dunk from De Silva. And Torrio De Silva having himself a night. He's got 14. He's got great hands inside. I mean, that pass had some serious zip on it. Webster now five assists. He Number three in the Missouri Valley Conference at assist per game. That's right at his season average from the corner. Joyce, no, and here comes Missouri State within eight. Eight in possession. We got to have some good defense here. Stick close to the Silva. Back screen here, get, trying to get the Silva wide open in the block. De Silva turning with the left hand, no. There we go. Good team rebounding right there. Three guys swarm into the ball. There's Joyce. Ooh. Nearly an over and back. Morris from the corner. There it is. How about 12 triples for the Falcons? Yeah, this is, I mean, that percentage right now is ungodly for this team. The start of the season right now. Playing well at home. 63%. And just when Missouri State tr try, starts to creep back in at Air Force with an answer, Morris. Coming up with his second triple tonight and an answer. Long range for Missouri State. Yeah, pretty. Down screen, comes up, 
pivots, gets his hips and shoulders around. Right back at him here. Woo. That is Morris. a three-point clinic for the Falcons. Morris is three of three. Some kind of showing tonight for Air Force. They have hit 13 triples. This is a fun game to watch right now. Up and down, high scoring, good defense right here. Two on one, come on, come on. And so on the bounce over to Joyce. Finish, shot for the with the right hand. And Chris Joyce, five points now for the guard. And Air Force by 13. That was a nice pass, sat up right into Chris's hands on, on the run. Ooh. Wrap around pass to Silva, no. Morris. Also a pretty fast, bad finish right there by De Silva, one of his rare misses tonight. Little step back, Joyce, three ball. Red hot, Air Force. 14 threes and a timeout for Missouri State. Beautiful move right here, drags the foot, hangs out, sets it, good balance and good rotation, good result. With that, a timeout of the floor, we will step aside Air Force. Up by 16. Well, the Falcons putting on a show here in the Mount West Missouri Valley Challenge against Missouri State here. Meeting number three between these two teams at Air Force. Just red hot, 59% for the field, but 67% from three-point range, 14 to 21. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett back here at Clune Arena. And a 16-point spread for the Falcons on the defensive end out of the timeout. Red Hot with unselfish play, too. 18 assists on the night right now for the Falcons. Muhammad leans and uses the window for two. Muhammad very gingerly running back after getting a nice bucket on the inside. There's Joyce. Baseline, it goes to Van Sohn. Three ball, good look, just off the mark. Cook the rebound. Keandre. Nice athletic play there to get that rebound and not be over the back, just going up high and grabbing the ball. He averages six and a half rebounds a game tonight. Halfway home with three and a foul whistled against Muhammad. That's a lot of steps. And with that, we get our first media timeout of one, two. Uh, no, just one, two. The second half, Air Force. Up by 14, Falcons 61-47. We'll be back after this. Out of the timeout, the Falcons enjoying a 14-point lead over Missouri State. And this Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. The Falcons in this series, in terms of the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge, are two and five. The last time they won was two years ago against this very same Missouri State team. So, Kabir Muhammad, one more here after he misses on the front end of a two-shot foul. First action here on Missouri State side with number 25, Scott, getting in there. One-on-one -on -one of the trip, and Kai on the inbound here is A.J. Walker. 20 points here tonight. They go to the elbow. Joyce cut off there on the double team. Kaya kick out, Joyce, extra pass, Walker all alone, and a rare miss for A.J. Walker. Back to his first from long range. Yeah, great patience right there by Chris Joyce. Got a wide open look. Muhammad can't Walker. finish. Again, team rebounding, swarming four guys in there trying to get their nose on the, in the grindstone there, trying to pick up that rebound. Joyce directing traffic. They'll try the left side, Walker now. Quick first step and the whistle's blown as Muhammad fouling Keaton Van Solen. Van Solen with a pretty finish after, after the buzzer, just uh, put it up anyway. Now a second team foul for Missouri State, number one on Kabir Muhammad. You can see he's still hobbled by that ankle injury. Yeah, he must have turned it over pretty good. That was a smart foul by him, otherwise that's an easy two. So Joyce on the inbound now for the Falcons. Morris has it batted away. Krekla with his 100th game, some veteran experience right there, anticipating that pass. Good front by De Silva. Yeah. Three on two. 
Down the lane, Cook hangs high in the air. And they're gonna say it counts. Chance for the three-point play. This is a pretty finish right here. Two guys running the floor and he decides, you know what? Yeah, he, that's a good call. Kind of leaning and falling backwards already. He was definitely to the side of him. They can get it to 10 with a free throw here from Keandre Cook. Yeah, they headed down to eight earlier. And so we gotta just keep building it back up after this free throw here. And this is a guy that has made more free throws, been to the free throw line more than any other player from Missouri State this season. I mean, with that length and the athleticism you just saw on that finish, you can see why. And the free throw is good. So approaching that 20 free throw attempt mark for Missouri State, and they've been to the free throw line 20 or more times for the first six games, and last season just eight times in total all of last year. So certainly that is a trend that first-year head coach Dana Ford wants to see continue his guys. The ability to get to the free throw line with that clock stop. Good feed, the give back, and the swan, the finish with the right hand. Yeah, Purvis Louder with a nice back cut right there as it created all of that space for Swan. Ryan Swan now seven points for Air Force. Back up by 12, and now a whistle. Wow. Starting to get choppy. That's not. That's good feet right there, staying in front and moving the whole way. Didn't use his hands. I'm not sure where the foul is here. Randy Heimerman, I mean, the official that made the <laughs> call on that, and Dave Pelopovich didn't like it. And you can see Winston Stiff looking over at the, and a warning on that Air Force bench. Slotting by the screen is A.J. Walker, Church now. De Silva, power dribble, little head fake, nobody home, and Church able to hustle over. They thought he was gonna keep it in play, but it goes out. That's all right, you know what? Ball doesn't lie, as we say in volleyball. And here we are with a ball doesn't lie moment where there's no shot after a questionable foul. Inside a 14 minute mark here, Air Force trying to bring it on home with a 12 point lead, Swan over to Sid Tomes and now the good luck in and out, back in for Lavelle Scotty. He's got eight. It's a great shot. 18 feet away, rattling it in. It's been impressive, Air Force been able to play with the lead and look impressive, chance for the three point play. Wait. Leo De Silva, he has been a monster inside tonight. He has a lot of shots right around the basket. And here he goes back, gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in with a foul. So De Silva trying to complete the three-point play and get it to within 11. He's had himself tonight. 16 points and counting. Third free throw attempt tonight, he's one of two. Make it two of three. And it's 65-54 Air Force. Falcons largest lead of the night has been 21 that late in the opening half. Skip pass, Joyce out the ball fake, hangs with the right hand, pretty bucket. Great finish over two shot blockers and he just slides it in. Right here, this is a good move. Silva with a good closeout and then both of them try and recover. And Up by 13, Chris Joyce, the sophomore out of Jacksonville. Drive and dish, open look from the corner, no. Backside rebound for A.J. Walker. Walker. Had Purvis Louder wide open on the break and he regretted not throwing it sooner. But we're gonna get a trip to the line anyway here. Locking foul called. So Chris Joyce, a 78% free throw shooter. Joyce 
the line for the first time tonight. Smooth night right here at home for Chris Joyce. Double digits, good shooting percentage. This is a nice all-around effort here with three assists as well. Just perfect on that trip. And a substitution for Missouri State. Josh Webster checking in for Ryan Kreklo. Webster with seven assists. Good setup, man, so far for everything that this has been going on inside. Webster set up the play. There it is. Off the roll with the right hand to Silva. No, tip back. Yes, sticks with it. Persistence paying off for Tudu de Silva as they are within 13. Scotty off the ball fake. Tough pass, nice catch right there. Joyce. Good patience. Scotty thought about three. There it is. And on the ground, a lot of whistles here in half number two. That is going to take us to the break with 11.57 to go, Air Force. Maintaining a comfortable margin here against Missouri State, 69-56 back right after this. What a night here at Clune Arena, Air Force leading Missouri State in the Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge, 69-56, Josh Al, Keith Barnett. And it is not a record setting night, but it very well could be with 11.57 to go here in this second half. Air Force has been lighting it up from downtown. Yeah, six of seven right now for A.J. Walker. School record is nine. And so here we are with Lavelle Scotty driving down the lane here. One, two, a little shuffle of the feet after the jump stop. And the Falcons have hit 14 threes as a team. That's five away from the all-time Air Force record. Speaking of threes, jumping up and in, Jared Dixon. Don't want to see him get started here. That's a Dixon, the leading scorer coming in for Missouri State. Hard to believe that is his first field goal tonight. Cooking, getting called here for a hold. Chris Joyce is beating into the hole. But the game plan was to shut down Dixon. Mission accomplished. So far, uh, 11 minutes in a basketball game is a long way to go. There's Joyce. You got Swan working in the low post. And Foul up top, committed by Keandre Cook. It's nice, good, good job getting us closer to the bonus here. There's Lauder on the inbound here for the Falcons. Nice, some back action right there after drawing Church further from the basket. Trouble for Swan. And that's just a hustle play out of Missouri State. Helped up off the floor. Scramble is the senior Obadiah here. Church. Yep. That was, a, that was a nice, good hands, good active pursuit of the ball to the floor. You know what? Credit Missouri State. They have battled all night. They have trailed by as many as 21. It's been a double digit deficit for most of the night, but they have kept in this ball game mentally physically and here they are a chance to get it to within single digits just turned 11 minutes to go lob pass to silva and he will go to the free throw line i think that's a good foul you know he, he definitely is going to put that one in if not that one the next one but this is a good over the top i mean big to big passing again that has been the recipe church to De silva so 17 fouls now on Air Force, so free free throws for from here on out for Missouri State. They've only been to the line. This is just their fifth attempt tonight. They're three of five. And there we go. That's that's, that's why you got to put them on the line two feet from the basket here. De Silva. 
one and two on a trip with 10.49 to go. Interesting strategy there by Missouri State. Even on the second one, there was nobody in there for the rebound. Either De Silva's a really good free throw shooter or they're more worried about the defensive end. Joyce with the left hand, Van Solen. Drive and dish. Little hop step. Oh, what a feed. Great feed from Purvis Lauder. The finish for the easy two. That was a great, I mean, great jump stop. Shows the ball and then slides it across. Underneath the shot blocker. Lead back to 11. Another foul. Kind of. So A.J. Walker with foul number three. And to the free throw line goes Josh Webster, and he is a very good free throw shooter, 83% coming in. And misses for the first time tonight, loose ball, rebound Air Force. It's a nice break here, missing the front end of a one and one There's Walker. I think Ed Walker looked for it, he had a layup on that one. Out of thought about the three. Seven to shoot. Good patience, not much action here. We need some more back screens. And Kaya. There it is. Got it. How about 15 threes for the Falcons tonight. Getting inching closer and closer to the school record here of 19 on the night. And the lead 14. Well, it's amazing what some time off will do. The Falcons, after that tough loss to CU, bouncing back in a big way, and a response from Josh Webster. Kip Miller to push it back, and they're going to get Is that DeAndre Cook. Cook. Yeah, that's his third of the half. Third overall. 17 fouls for Missouri State, so this 9-17 will be a slow second half. take its time. <laughs> a 12 point game. And if we're gonna be in the bonus for nine minutes of both teams, it's gonna be a... Keaton Van Solen, sophomore out of Waukee, Iowa, 75% free throw shooter, one or two on that trip. Let's hope we can pick up our free throw shooting percentage from where it was earlier in this year, because this is going to be a chance for free points. Well, tonight, doing a nice job at 85% in the limited opportunities. Last season, the Falcons around 73%, and certainly down from that by a, a nine percentage points coming into tonight, but making up. A lot of ground here in many categories, and that's offensive. Missouri State's asking about if he's in the restricted zone here. Can't see it on that replay right there. But nonetheless, ball's going the other way. Here it is, here's a wide look. Yeah, he's... They had the block underneath it looked like, but the top referee said no. Van Solen over to A.J. Walker. Good feed of Van Solen. Better defense, though. Van Solen, nifty move. Going to his left, little half hook. And Air Force back up by 15. It's a nice, pretty finish right there over the left shoulder. Van Solen fighting through the screens. Cook now. Short on the three ball. And Shaman Wojcik, the 6'10 freshman out of Poland, checking in for Missouri State. Yeah, they've shown enough patience this whole game right now. Missouri State's been hanging around. We gotta just keep grinding away here on the defensive end. Wojcik, the screen up top. The old roll calling for the ball. They go up around the right side and. They get it, Wojcik with a foul away from the ball. Wojcik created a lot of space there with his right hip. Tried to make sure that couldn't get around in order to try and front him.
Just over eight minutes to go here in half number two. An outstanding performance so far by the Falcons. Yeah, team wide. Nice. That's a great Locker look. Open look, no. Quick rip and Cook. Into the Air Force in, take it away. Purvis Louder. Speed for Purvis Louder up and in with the right hand. That was a great rip and then running the other way. Good Look. defense getting back right there by the Falcons too. Looked like Dixon tweak his ankle momentarily, but boy, back to the play by Purvis Louder, so explosive. No nice inside, there, Louder. Again, another team rebound, just getting fingers on it, swatting it away. Can do it in so many ways. Nice back cut. Kreklo able to come out of there with the loose ball. Approaching the seven minute mark. Pull it up, three, no. That's a good sign right there. Look, look ahead, look ahead, look at you all. Oh, missed it right there. Chris Joyce was wide open as Missouri State kind of got crossed up in transition. And you can see the energy levels just dropping for Missouri State. Keandre Cook had his hand on his hip the last time down as Air Force trying to extend a 17 point lead. And a timeout of the floor, 6.42 to go, all Air Force Falcons. How about this? Air Force, 15 threes, rolling tonight at home against Missouri State. Air Force trying to close it out in strong fashion tonight, a 79-62 lead over Missouri State. Key seven of the last nine they have hit from the field. Yeah, Kaya right there with a great look. Just individual performance right here, but team team stats beating everybody from different spaces. Purvis with the rip here, and then just outruns everybody at altitude and finishes high. This is a this is a fun game to watch. Falcons are playing great. Nine different Falcons have scored tonight. Air Force now shooting 60 percent for the game. They're up for the first half. They finished it. 57 and change, or 56 and change, and just been outstanding to be able to maintain this kind of level of play tonight. Crowd's a little disappointed to see a free throw miss, but I mean, that's still, we're still shooting really well from the line right now. Well, going to the break, it was Keandre Cook, the junior, who fouled out, picked up his fifth personal foul, so they are down, the junior, guard out of Baltimore. Yeah, that's a big loss right there. One of their three di double-digit scorers here is now on the bench for the rest of the game. Yeah, Cook had 13 points, four rebounds, and he's out of the game here with just under six and a half to go. Here's Sid Tomes. Swan with a great rebound right there, making sure De Silva doesn't get another easy look from two feet from the hoop. Joyce off the screen. Again, good patience here by Air Force. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Scotty straight away. How about 16 threes wow. for the Falcons? Scotty hits his first triple tonight. Ever okay. closer and closer with six minutes to go. School record, a reminder, 19 threes by Air Force. They hit 18 in a game last year. Another good box out right there by Scotty, keeping the silver off the glass. No second chance points right now is how you continue to build your lead at 21. Seven different players have hit a three pointer tonight, nearly stolen. Into the corner, open look. Louder in the lane, he traveled. Boy, that's too bad. We had Church all the way outside the three point line. There was a lot of space in there to shoot the hoop. Well, this is not a surprise in terms of the success of Air Force when you consider. Earlier this season, the opponents for Missouri State, Southern Cal had great success shooting the triple as well against the Bears. Yeah, Southern Cal made 18 earlier this year. So if, if that was a targeted weakness by the Falcons, I mean, they hit it. Stutter five and a half to play. Church, extra pass. Church not looking for his shot, so they just keep looking for him to pass. The Silva with the right hand off the window for two. He is an impressive player. He's got 20. Yeah, I mean, good finishes all around the rim and quick off the ground. Tulio to Silva. Make that 22 for Silva. 
Swan calling for it inside. <laughs> you can hear Dave off in the distance yelling, move it, move it. He wants to see him just keep working. That's great a great feed by Joyce and then a foul from behind. That's Missouri State's Kabir Muhammad. Yeah, again, smart foul. You're going to give up a two no matter what, so he just gave him a quick shove, throwing off his, throwing off his shot from inches from the rim. Inside of five minutes to play here. So the Falcons have an opportunity to get back into the wind column. And, of course, after tonight, they're at Pacific and then DU at home, Army at home. Always a good rivalry. And then at Michigan, three days before Christmas, and UC Riverside to round out non-conference play. So a nice test to get them ready for what is always a grind in the Mountain West. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of repeat teams there in terms of the last couple of years where we see DU a lot, we see Army a lot. We've seen Missouri State now two years out of the last three. Looking There's for Scotty inside, feed. doubled up, needs help. No, he doesn't. Too strong. Like the decision, probably should have been a left-handed finish there, and he would have gotten a whole lot more space. Up and under with the right hand, tipping, yes. Following to the hole is Darian Scott, who just checked in, the redshirt freshman out of Las Vegas. Yeah, it's not the first guy going to the hole that kills you. It's the, the other guy coming down the lane just following up. A 19-point Air Force lead. That's a great move right there. Blocked along the glass. De Silva doing it on both ends of the floor tonight from the corner. Three ball, no. And a backside rebound for Tomes. Big time block by De Silva. Yeah, most of the crowd wanted a goaltend. <laughs> I'm not sure, that was, uh, it was again, quick off the ground. You weren't sure if it was on the way down or still on the way up. Again, just good patience. Nice back cut, a little too much on that. The time out of the floor, 3.17 to go with that. We'll step aside, Air Force cruising here on a Wednesday night at the Academy. Air Force with that 19 point lead. 317 remaining here in the second half. Josh Howe, Keith Barnett is Air Force, part of this Mountain West Missouri Valley Challenge. And the Falcons looking to go three and five all time. Ooh, very nearly a travel right there. In this matchup between the two conferences. Uh, looks like a pass right there, but either way. Air Force fouls calling for five. We're over the limit, so it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. So to the free throw line, Ross Owens, the junior out of Woodland, Illinois. Kind of the old school stagger from the free throw line. And it works. What a two on that trip for Owens. Three quarters of the way down and then back out again. Nice home rim. Inside a three to play here. I can't say enough about the bounce back out of Air Force. Tough, tough loss last week against Colorado. Missouri Took State. one of the chin and boy, they have rebounded a big way. They have. Sorry, sorry about that. They, uh, Missouri State has extended their defense out here quite a ways. Joyce, top three, oh. nearly got it to go in and out. That was a great look. Good pass by Swan. Oh, great job by Walker to stay with Webster on the dribble. He forced that turnover. Boy, that assist to turnover margin right now is well in our favor here at 22 and 13 for us, 22 assists, only 13 turnovers. And Missouri State's got 12 assists and 15 turnovers. That's yeah. a large difference in the game here. Webster was number one of the Missouri Valley in assist turnover ratio at three. 
And straightaway triple, how about Swan? How about 17 threes? 17. They're now two away from tying the school record. They have under two minutes to do it. I don't know if you, I don't know if everybody saw that or not, but Chris Joyce dribbled it between the defender's legs right there is it, in, order to, in order to go get the ball back out and get it out to Swan. Here we go. Another good defensive possession. Do they know the record is 19 and will they go for it? I'll walk it up here. Combs off the curl, pops off for the right side. Joyce looking inside. There's On the nice cut, great cut. feed. Taken away. Yeah. AJ Walker open for three. Long three, Owens, no. Owens with, with his own follow, though, knew where it was going. Dixon will try at the other side. Inside a minute to go. Well, they can tie a mark they set a year ago, and now a timeout, wholesale changes. As Dave Pilipovich says, hey, great job out of his regulars here tonight. Leaves Chris Joyce out Dave there and brings the in. Here. Some good time here for your guys and put in time every day in the in the gym. It's always give us some live game reps for everybody here. And a turnover by Air Force. Well, impressive performance here tonight for the Falcons as they get set to head out on the road at Pacific on December the 1st. Inside of 30 seconds to play. Blowing by the defense is Dixon. Finished with the right hand, Jared Dixon. Just five points tonight for Dixon, hard to believe. Great job defensively for the Falcons and Air Force will just dribble it out. What a performance tonight by Air Force. They're gonna come out of here with a 19 point victory. 88 to 69, the final score. The Falcons 17 threes to get the job done against the Bears of Missouri State. Your final score, Air Force 88. Missouri State 69 will take a timeout, come back and wrap this one up from Coon Arena right after this. A victorious Air Force Falcon team here at Clune Arena tonight as they dominate Missouri State out of the Missouri Valley Conference. A final score of 88 to 69. Backcourt side, Josh Howe, Keith Barnett and Keith. Wow, what a performance tonight. And the impressive thing, they kept this up for the entire 40 minutes. Yeah, we talked about it in the first half, you know, eight of 11 early, you're living and dying by the three. Turns out 17 to 28. I mean, you can't ask for a better night from the three point line. Well, numbers, not oftentimes do they tell the entire story, but they do tonight. Air Force 58% from the field. And how about that number from three point range? 60% 60. on 28 attempts. I mean, that's that, that's a great night. That's going to bury most teams. And then the assist to turnover ratio, 23 to 15. Anytime you can get that going. The Falcons hit 17 threes. That's two away from the school record. And boy, all kinds of highlights. How about this guy, A.J. Walker? What a performance tonight with 20. Yeah, getting us off to a great start, leading the way, building up that big lead, and then unselfish play by the rest of the Falcons here get nine people to score. Bounce attack and how about the defense? Keith Van Sol on the takeaway, the Again, dish and the finish. Selfish. So pretty. I mean, it's fun to watch a team that shares the ball. It Air leads to that. Excuse me, Keith, Air Force 23 assists tonight, just 15 turnovers. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful night from the whole team. Obviously feeling pretty confident. Knew they had success against this team two years ago and here we are again shooting a similar percentage. Well, meeting number three between these two schools, Air Force wins for the second time and the second straight time. You see Joyce inside out, three straight away. It was that kind of night. Air Force 17 to 28 and a victorious Wednesday night here for the Falcons. They win for the third time this season. So the Falcons proved to three and four. 
go out on the road at Pacific, always a tough place to play, but they've got a little momentum after uh, stumbling for two straight. Yeah, you know, anytime you can, right before getting out on the road, get a nice home win, this is a good feeling for this team. Well, great, great result tonight for the Air Force, and certainly glad you could join us for the broadcast here tonight. For Keith Barnett, our entire crew, this is Josh Howe saying so long here for the Academy. The Falcons win it on a Wednesday night, 88 to 69. So long, everybody.